Happy Wednesday, Glads. I'm John Christofferson. And I'm Maddie Hager, and this is your KWHS News. Thanks for tuning in. Before we jump into school announcements, let's hear from Miss Betsy for today's lunch menu. Happy Wednesday, everybody. Today we're having beef shepherd's pie. I know it's one of your faves served over mashed potatoes. And Thursday, we're going to have a meatball sub. So come on down and see us and have a great day. It's not too late to turn in those purple forms. Thanks. Bye. Thanks, Miss Betsy. Students, please add money to your accounts because you cannot charge meals. Glads, buy your yearbooks now for only $55 in the business office. Prices will go up in December. And seniors, listen up. The deadline for baby ads and quotes for the yearbook is coming up. You must submit your materials to Mrs. Kennedy by next Thursday, October 12th. This is a change because we are not in school on the 13th. October 20th is the last day you can bring those in if you want them in the yearbook. Don't delay. Get those photos and quotes into the yearbook staff or room 104 as soon as possible. With October already on the calendar, those deadlines are coming fast. Maddie, how helpful was it to have colleges visiting us for your college search? John, it was so helpful to have so many schools visiting us instead of me having to visit them because they came here and I was able to narrow down the schools I was really interested in and knowing the lineup is always helpful, especially for juniors and seniors just starting their search. That's good to know, Maddie. Students, most visits happen during advisory in the Counseling Center, and you will need a pass to attend. Here's the lineup for upcoming college visits. Colorado Mesa is here today, and next week, on October 10th, we have two schools scheduled. Fort Hayes State University will be here during advisory, and Paul Mitchell the school will be here at lunch. Hastings College is scheduled to visit on Thursday, October 12th, and CSU Pueblo comes in on Tuesday, October 17th. Pikes Peak Community College will visit us on Wednesday, October 18th, and rounding out October will be CU Denver on Tuesday, October 31st. Luther College will kick off November visits on Thursday, November 2nd, and Adams State plans to be here on Thursday, November 16th. Remember to swing by the Counseling Center to pick up your hall passes. John, another really great opportunity to check out colleges is at the College Fair at Mesa Ridge on October 25th. WHS is taking 50 juniors and seniors to this fair. Students, if you would like to attend, you have to sign up at the counseling office by next Thursday, October 12th, and you must have a permission slip to attend. Permission slips are due no later than Tuesday, October 17th. Now, here's Moose Santos with our Gladiator Sports Update. Good Wednesday morning, Glads. I'm Moose Santos with your Gladiator Sports Update. It's Spirit Week. Today is Heroes vs. Villains Day, and students are really getting creative. It's Rivalry Week, and here's the rest of the dress-up schedule. Tomorrow is Jersey Day, and Friday is Blue Oak Day. Go Glads! Beat Mesa! First off, we'd like to wish the marching band good luck as they travel to Pomona this weekend for their competition. We've already had some meetings against the Purple School, and here are some scores and upcoming game days for the rest of the week. The Lady Glads played the Elizabeth Cardinals yesterday, but were unable to swat those birds down and took a loss for the game. The ladies are at Mesa Ridge tomorrow afternoon at 4 p.m. Go Glads! Beat Mesa! The boys' tennis team start their regional matches tomorrow at Cheyenne Mountain High School. The team is strong and should have some great results to move on to state play. In soccer news, the boys hit the field Tuesday night at Gary Berry Stadium against Mitchell, and the boys play their rivalry game against Mesa tomorrow night at home at 6 p.m. Go Glads! Beat Mesa! Woo! The Lady Glads volleyball team would like to thank everyone who came out last night and wore pink at their Dig Pink game against Mesa. The ladies were all business and took the match easily. Next up for the ladies is the Classical Academy on Thursday night at 6 p.m. right here at home. Cross Country is at the Dory Invite tomorrow at the Penrose Equestrian Center. If you can make it out and catch some of the fastest glads on campus, they appreciate your support. In football news, our glads are working hard to earn another win against gr the Grizzlies on Saturday afternoon at 1 p.m. Remember, we are the visiting team. And remember that Saturday before the big rivalry game is the Widefield Community Day Parade. The parade starts at 10.30 at the Big Arts parking lot and ends at CA Foster Stadium where there will be vendors and food. Food tickets will be three dollars and game tickets will also be three dollars come out and see the best kept secret no more unfold and finally glads open gyms for both boys and girls are happening mondays and wednesdays 
pay attention. Here's how they're dividing the time. On Mondays, the ladies are in the Bowers gym from 6 to 8 p.m., while the boys will be in the small gym. On Wednesdays, the ladies get the small gym from 6 to 8 p.m., and the boys are in Bowers. If you haven't made it to the gym yet, but are interested or need more information, speak to Coach Munoz in room 207. Good luck to our sports teams this week. That's it for our sports update. Have a great Wednesday. I'm Moose Santos. Now back to you, John and Maddie. Thanks, Moose. Hey, juniors. The PSAT test is coming up next week on Wednesday, October 11th during periods 1 through 4. If you would like to qualify for a National Merit Scholarship, you need to take this test. Sign up and pay the fee no later than Friday, October 6th. The cost is $16 and Mrs. Abeta and the Counseling Center will take care of you. See the Counseling Center website for more information. Hey Glads, remember the Color Guard fundraiser is happening tonight. We know you want wings for dinner, so you should go out and support the Color Guard at Buffalo Wild Wings on Geyser Drive. Pick up a coupon from any Color Guard member and show it to your server for the Color Guard to receive 10% of your bill. If you have an electronic coupon, they'll honor those too. Okay, Glads, how many of you are dragging this morning? Didn't sleep well, did you? It could all be the homework you worked on or the video games you played, but it could just be your mattress. Lucky for you, the WHS Theater Program is holding its first annual mattress fundraiser. You heard that right, it's a mattress sale. On Saturday, October 21st, the small gym will be filled with mattresses of all sizes, styles, and price ranges for purchase. You can save up to 50% off retail prices. The sale will run from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. If you or someone in your family needs a new mattress, you should come check it out. All proceeds from this event will benefit the WHS Theater Program. And now, here are your club and activities updates for Wednesday and Thursday. We just received an announcement for the forensics team. You will have a meeting next week on Tuesday, October 10th. See Mrs. Owen for more details. The 180 Club meets in room 5 every Wednesday at lunch with Mr. Sickmiller. DECA and FBLA meet on Wednesdays at lunch in Lab 159. For those of you who enjoy tabletop games, that club meets on Wednesdays in room 160 from 3 to 5 p.m. On Thursdays, freshmen, junior, and senior councils meet at lunch. Freshman council meets in room 2, junior council meets in room 166, while the senior council currently meets in room 101. Book Club also meets every other Thursday at lunch in the library in the magazine room. Their next meeting is October 12th. Pop Orchestra meets in room 750 after school on Thursdays from 3 to 5 p.m. Mr. Nell hosts the Cyber Patriot Club on Thursdays at 3 p.m. in his room. And the Robotics Club meets in room 160 from 3 to 5 on, on Thursdays. As always, Student Union is open in the library ever, every afternoon from 3 to 4.15. You do need to have a sticker on your ID, like this one, to stay and play or to work on homework. And just a few more housekeeping notes before we go. Glads, our teachers and staff are pretty special. Remember, if you would like to recognize one of your teachers with a reverse power card, you can pick up a card at the attendance office and drop it in the bin. We will do the rest. Seniors, listen up. Your first class meeting will be this Thursday, October 5th, during advisory. Be sure to attend this meeting because there will be important graduation information as well as other important information for the class of 2018. If you cannot make it to this meeting, please see Mrs. Abeta in the Counseling Center after October 5th to collect the information you missed. Teachers, this meeting may run a little long, so expect seniors in third hour a few minutes late. Now here's an important announcement for Intervention Day. Graham, my friends must be in the upper columns. Once you pick a spot, you gotta stay in the spot. But my friends are in the upper common. Sorry, but that's the rules. Once you're in the small gym, you stay in the small gym. You don't wander the halls and go to the upper commons. Alright, I guess I'll stay here. Guys, this is Mr. Shoot. Just want to touch base with you because today is an intervention advisory day. You have some choices of where you can go. You're either going to be going to a classroom, the small gym, the library, or the upper commons. Those are your choices. Once you go to those places, it is our expectation that you stay in those places. We will not be roaming the halls or running around from place to place. Once you go there, you stay there. Hope it goes well for you today, guys. Hopefully you're not in my office for not following these rules. Have a great day.
Well, that's all for us today. Have a great hump day. I'm John Christofferson. And I'm Maddie Hager, and this was your KWHS News. Have a great Wednesday.